Mr. Dinklage, thank you so much for taking my call. I understand you have a very busy schedule, so I'll keep this short. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm sorry, it wasn't too tasteful. So I heard there's gonna be a GOT movie, not sure what that is, but you're gonna be directing it. That, that is so exciting. You, you've reached a height in your career. Damn it, uh, you've reached a point in your career. I, I know that I know that this is really gonna take you places. I'm so sorry, sir, this is not my intention. I, I, I do apologize. What the movie is, yeah, it's, it's G-O-T. I don't know, Grand Opportunity Thieves? I don't know, it's a heist movie. It's gotta be a heist movie. I love heist movies, especially that one with Ben Stiller, classic. Well, yeah, sure. I mean, I, I know winter's coming. I mean, it's here right now. Really have to wait for another couple of weeks and then we'll find out if spring is coming. Well, look, Peter, this has been, Mr. Dinklage, this has been a, a, a great conversation. I think we've really been hitting it off. So any chance I could get an audition for, you know, lead role, <laughs> you know, maybe? I'm not fit to work in this industry. Okay, okay, all right. Uh, we'll discuss this when you're in my movie, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Gabriel Manick. I'm an actor. Oh, I'm thirsty. All right. Well, welcome back to a new episode of Thirsty Actor Food Reviews. You know, I thought today was going to be a great day to shoot outside. It actually is a really beautiful day. I was going to shoot it right behind where this camera is, but it, it is so bright. The sun is shining right down and I'm just going to be blown out. You know, I'm cool with being in the spotlight, but this spotlight is shining on everything. It's way too bright. So, yeah. So I'm doing a beer that's out of Seattle, Washington from Red Hook. Red Hook Brewery. Winter Shock Winter Ale. Apparently this is their 37th edition, so they've had 36 of these before. I'm good with math. Oh boy, it smells pretty good. It smells really good. So I'm gonna be using my Monday Night Tulip Glass, the Black Tie Series. Here we go. Wow, that's looking, that's looking re really good. It's good, doesn't it? Beautiful pour, of course. Wow, that's got a nice amber color. Here, let's see if you can get some light on that. Let's see, where, where's the light? Well, yeah, to me it's very amber, amber-esque. Look at that. Oh yeah, yeah, that definitely smells like a winter ale. All right, well, first sip's the one that counts when you're thirsty. That's pretty good. And if I'm not mistaken, oh my gosh. It's an 8.2, it's an 8.2%. I thought it was like 6.8 or something, but 8.2. See, this is the kind of beer, I mean, even though it's, it's, like I said, it's pretty nice out. This tree is literally blocking the sun. So I'm just gonna step over here for a sec. Oh, that feels so much better. It's so much warmer. It's so much warmer over there, but that's okay. This is, this is, this is worth it been enjoying doing the home reviews inside. A few of the subscribers have mentioned, I think it was Tamas. <clears throat> if you're watching it, thank you for the compliment. You know, I've been enjoying the home reviews as well. So I figured try something new, you know, just be outside, be out in nature. I love that. There's a dog back over there. Every single time somebody walks by, always barks, always barks. He's, uh, he's quite a quirky character. So yeah, lots of what would you even call that? It's nutmeg, maybe? I wonder if they list it here. They do not. Uh, if please recycle. Yeah, they've got please recycle in it. That's, that's a good, that's a good ingredient for brewing. Oh, apparently they have several locations. They have three locations. One in Seattle, Washington, Portsmouth, Portsmouth, Mouth, New Hampshire, and Portland, Oregon. I'm sure at some point I'll make it over to Portland and try it there. The brewery is out over there because apparently Portland used to be number one years ago. And then at the time when I moved to Charlotte, North Carolina, I believe that's when Asheville took over as the brewery hub of the nation. So this is, this is great. Very bready. Extremely malty. Got a nice bite at the, at the front, the front of it. Ooh. By the way, this is 
this is what I used to wear when I worked at Monday Night Brewing right over here. So it's, whoops, uh, Red Hook and Monday Night all making a cameo in here. Uh, but this is this keeps you really warm. This, especially when I was working there in the winter, uh, late fall, this is really comfortable to wear. This really is solid. I mean, I don't even want to like try to figure out what's in it. It's just good. This is just really, really good. I can definitely enjoy this again outdoors over here with a big coat on, maybe some gloves, a Russian like cake hat, whatever those fluffy hats are, or indoors, you know, with the heat blasting uh, underneath a nice throw blanket. That's right, guys like throw blankets too. Everyone does. And if you don't, I don't know, you're a weird human being. That's okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and score this baby. Okay, so the Winter Shook, Winter Shook, Winter Shook Winter Ale, 37th edition from Red Hook Brewery. It's weird, I'm going with 8.3. I don't know if it's because that's the ABV or not, but it feels like an 8.3. I like it, it's like I really didn't have to describe much just because there was a lot going on, going on in it. Uh, maybe it's also because it's cold and I just want to go back inside. <laughs> but this is really good, it's no complaints, just Great taste, great flavor, nice, nice bite. Like I said in the front, you can see I'm I'm already like halfway through it. Like that's good. This kicks butt. This kicks a lot of butt. So thank you, Red Hook, for making this. Uh, sometime I'll be either one of the three locations, and hope everybody's enjoying their New Year so far. I'll see you on the next review. Peter Dinklage, please call me. <laughs>